All right, I am back with another video. We're gonna go ahead and change out these uh, tires and wheels, or wheels and tires, uh, with these uh, snow tires that I picked up uh, from someone on a forum. And here they are, much better looking, I believe. And there's five of them, so I have a full-size spare. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started on taking these off and putting the new ones on. All right, let's get going. All right, one of the first things I wanted to show you is how I put this uh, full-size spare in here. Uh, this is the extra one I had. So if you didn't know how to get into this stuff, you know, you just use this little loopy thing and you hook it up here and that way it'll hold it up for you, okay? But I, uh, I did get my uh, full-size spare in there, as you can see. I had to take out this little styrofoam piece right here that was under the original spare so that it would fit and sit flush. So. That was the first thing that I did. So now I have a full size spare. So if anything happens to any of the other ones, uh, we're good to go on that, right? And so, um, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and get started on taking off the other ones and putting the new ones on. So before you get going, you wanna look and see how many uh, foot pounds of torque you need to tighten it to. And, and for this particular model, it's 98 uh, foot pounds of torque. Uh, and so uh, we'll go ahead and set it to that, our torque wrench down there, and uh, take these guys off and put the new ones on and set it to that specification. All right, so if you have the deployable side steps like I do, look in your owner's manual, and it'll give you the jack position underneath uh, this little spot. You're also going to need the special tool if you have a special uh, lug nut with the uh, protection there so it can't be stolen. So you're going to put that on, and then you can go ahead and put your other on top of that. So I have a 7 8 uh, I think a 22 millimeter would also fit. So we're gonna go ahead and start loosening these guys, jack it up and put on the new tire. We're gonna make sure that the rotation is correct too on the tire. We'll look and see the rotation symbol so we know that it's rotating in the right direction. You can tell by the tread usually, but we'll go ahead and take a look on there too. Alright, so the old tire's off. Here's the new one. And again, when you're putting on winter tires, you want to make sure that you have the tread in the proper direction. And so there is a little sign on here that says rotation. We'll see if we can find it right there. See, rotation. Uh, I'll flip it around so you can tell. Right there, rotation. So we're going in the right direction on, this, on the wheel that we're putting on on the front there. So we'll go ahead and put this guy on. Right, the first one's on and uh, we're gonna check the tire pressure on it and make sure it's right but here's that different difference there again these are my winter tires uh, with the uh, Pirelli Scorpion uh, snow tires um, but I do like these rims I might you know after I'm done with the winter I might put some put the regular tires back on these rims because I like the look on this one here so we'll go ahead and finish it up let me catch my breath <laughs> and uh, show you the rest. This one happened to come with the, you know, these already included and it also has a special little cap, which is pretty cool. Uh, so all right, let's go ahead and get the rest of the guys on here.
right, here's the finished product. It's a little dirty, I know, but uh, yeah, it looks pretty sweet compared to what it was before. Um, yeah, pretty cool. I know it's a little dark out here, but uh, yeah, those are gonna work out pretty well. Remember to put down, you know, make sure the rotation is correct when you're putting on snow tires. So yeah, if you have any questions, please comment below. And as always, subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. All right, guys, take care.